Yo, what is up guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video and in this one I've got some tips and some shortcuts for the new special vehicle stunt races. Now I did this for the previous stunt races that were added into GTA Online and you guys really seem to love that video, got some good tips for you guys and hopefully the same for this video, got some good tips and some good shortcuts for, for some of the specific races that you can pull off. So let's get started with the first general tip and this is for the uh, Rocket Voltage stunt races. Now what I find best to do is to save your boost when you're going up into a jump. So boost before you get to the jump, then by the time you're in midair, your Rocket Voltage boost will recharge and that way you can, well basically boost in midair, you can do it to boost towards the ground for a longer jump so you spend less time in the air and then you can get back to the ground and then you can accelerate back up to top speed quicker. Or for the shorter jumps you can just use it to get a little bit extra distance on the jump. But basically wherever possible, just save your boost until you've done a jump, until you're in midair, and then you can boost in midair towards the ground, and then it'll just end up being a lot faster than just hanging in midair for ages. Because if you're stuck in midair with no boost after a big jump, you'll just be floating through the sky for ages, and it's and that is a lot slower than actually being able to use it in midair. Now the next tip is for the Runa 2000 races, and I've been experimenting quite a bit with when to use the parachute and how best to use it. And I figured that again on a few of the huge vertical jumps you can use the parachute in the same way you can use the rocket voltic boost to boost downwards you can use the parachute if you tilt your car forward straight after the jump and parachute as soon as you can you'll give your car a bit more forwards momentum rather than again spending a lot of time floating through the airs and then eventually arcing the jump background to where you would land anyway you can see through some of the gameplay examples it works quite well when you're in the race it just means that you'll give yourself a bit more forward momentum, you'll land quicker, again, rather than just floating through the air and taking forever to land again. So just keep this one in mind when it comes to the big vertical jumps. It'll just give you a bit more momentum, so you'll eventually be going quicker uh, when you land a lot sooner as well, which is the good part. Now, going back to the Rocket Voltic stunt races, if you actually race with contact on, the boost from the Rocket Voltic will basically give a huge knockback effect to a car that is directly behind where the rocket is boosting from. So you can use this pretty tactically if someone's coming up behind you, if they're catching up pretty quick, you can save your boost until they're directly behind you. Boost away, you'll get the speed, it'll knock them back, they'll probably go into a full 360 spin. So you can do this to other players for a bit of vance, but also just watch out in case they try and, and pull this off on you. And then also keeping with Rocket Voltic stunt races, again, something I've been experimenting with is doing some kind of insane Tokyo Drift but with the Rocket Voltic Boost. On some of the sharp corners you can uh, obviously handbrake turn, you'll go into a bit of a drift. Your car, the idea behind this is that your car will be rotating quicker around the corner so you can activate the boost quicker and it just seems like it might be a little bit quicker than activating the boost normally, like if you normally do the corner and then activate the boost on the way out. This little drift technique with the boost like as you're going around the corner, it just seems like it may be a little bit quicker, so if you guys want to try and experiment with that further, then go ahead, and it also does look pretty sick to do as well. Now getting on to the actual shortcuts, there wasn't many in these new special vehicle stunt races, but there are a few, so on one of the Rocket Voltic stunt races called Atmosphere, uh, there's a huge ramp there, but if you just completely skip the ramp, go left or go right, and then boost your way onto the platform, it just means that, uh, again, like I said in the previous stunt race tips video, You'll spend less time in the air, you'll get to the ground quicker, especially if you boost through the air. And then of course, the less time that you're actually in the air means you'll save a lot of time in the actual race. Now a really good shortcut in one of the Runa 2000 races, this is Night Ride. When you're going down one of the neon downhill tubes, uh, you get to a slowdown section where you're supposed to activate the parachute and slowly float down towards the platform. But you can just completely skip the slowdown zone, either go off to the left or to the right of the tubes, you'll completely miss it, or you can jump over it and then you'll have way more speed and you'll make it to the platform without even having to use your parachute because the parachute is pretty slow if you do it the normal way. So this way is much, much quicker and I'm surprised at the amount of people who don't use this and you can overtake them and get a massive lead on them as well. So make sure you do use this one. And then finally, another smaller shortcut, I think this is on the Runa 2000 race called Drop Shape. It's basically just a ramp you can skip, but you still have to hop over a little fence. I think it's a little bit quicker because you don't have to do the full ramp. So as long as you stay to the right-hand side, go over the fence, keep it in a straight line, and then you'll 
uh, be able to make the turn in time. I think it's a little bit quicker. It's not as major as the other shortcut on Night Ride. But those are pretty much my best tips and shortcuts that I found on these special vehicle stunt races. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And if you do have any of your own tips and your own shortcuts that you found out from doing these special vehicle stunt races uh, and the ones that I've missed, make sure you do leave them down in the comments below. And I may end up doing a sort of another part to this video with some of the tips and shortcuts that you guys have left in the comments. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has been really helpful for you guys. It's double money and RP in the new stunt races, so hopefully using these tips you'll get a upper hand in them and basically just earn a ton of money from the new special vehicle stunt races. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me on Twitter, it's at iTwister. Join the Discord server, always linked down in the description. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.